Shalom to the nation of Israel. Just borrows all of the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and to the hopeful elect pushing his word and truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. This lesson is titled Evil Will Be Repaid. Let's play this. Were selected to be raped. But then once you fight back as a female, start off. the females I made mention were selected to be raped. But then once you fight back as a female, they bring you here to spend seven to ten good days. You'll stay in here. This end will be covered with the metal gate. So you would get air through the space. But then get to know that you wouldn't be fed twice a day. You're going to get your food once a day. You starve for you to get a change of mind. Some of them actually allow themselves back again. So they take them upstairs and give them the wash before they take them to bed. Some got pregnant in the castle. Once they see you pregnant in here, they will take you from the dungeons. They will take good care of you because you carried a baby. You are allowed to give birth. After giving birth, you breastfeed the baby for some months. Four or five months. Then you, the mother, you are brought back to the dungeons for the next available ship to take you from this place. Then the babies, they take care of them very well. Then once they grow up, they bring them to the church. As I made mention, mulattoes were brought into the um, <coughs> church to educate them. And these kids, like I said, some became slave um, merchants here. Others also becoming elite in the society. But then when they trade and um, merchants here, others also will be um, church to educate them. And these kids, like I said, some became slave um, merchants here. Others also will becoming elite. <laughs> so you see how stupid we you saw is he he sent those kids to slavery. <sighs> okay, it's so crazy. So let's go to. Uh, try to make this short as possible. Isaiah 5 and 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Right? So he basically talked about what happened to the female slaves, which are Israelites, when they didn't want to be raped. Okay. Okay. And what happened with the kids? First of all, a lot of those husbands were still alive because they just separated the families. They didn't really kill them all the time. A lot of times they just, because the husbands, the males were strong, right? So those were strong slaves for them. So they didn't always keep the husband with the family. A lot of the time they separated the family, right? The mom and the daughter would go to another plantation or the mom go to another plantation, the daughter go to another plantation, um, and the father goes into the plantation, the son goes into the plantation. They separate them. Sometimes they kept the families together, right? Which buck breaking happened. So if they kept the families together, they have to establish who's the boss, who's the master in that family. So they would take the husband and do what's called buck breaking, which is sodomy, right? You can look that up. I'm not going to go into that. Um, but the other, uh, other scenarios where they separate the families so these women, the husbands were still alive. So when they're trying to sleep with them, that's adultery. One, that's adultery. <coughs> right? Right? It's rape first. But the husband's still alive. Right? So you got rape and adultery going on. Right? Now, if the husband was dead, then it can't be adultery because the husband's dead. So the woman's a widow. So it would just be rape because she doesn't want you to, to, to enter her, right? Hence why they said the ones that didn't want to be raped, right, would uh, be put into those, those uh, um, prisons for uh, seven to ten days, right? So that's that aspect. And then you have the kids. So they, Esau, this guy's so stupid, right? He, he would sleep with those kid, uh, women, have kids. Some of them would obviously be working in the house, but... You know, because you have the ones that are in the house, the, the ones with fair skin. But then he said a lot of them were sold to merchants and slaves. They were put into slavery. So, But he put his own people into slavery because those are his kids. Those are his seed. Right? So he literally just put his own child into slavery. His own seed into slavery. And another, another Edomite into slavery. You see how stupid Esau is? Now, with that being said, also, you got some Edomites, or so-called Edomites. Back then, you got the, the Irish were also slavers too. And the Irish, a lot of them are Israelites. So there's that aspect too, but also, you, but like I said, right? So there's those, there's those things too, but Esau put a lot of his own people into slavery. And 
Isn't that funny? Look at how we're in right now in this kingdom. You have the elites, and then you have the, as you go trickle down, you have the lower level Edomites, right? These Edomites are on the bottom. They're not living good, right? They're living like shit. Esau doesn't even care about his own people, okay? He doesn't even care about his own people. He only cares about himself. The elites only care about themselves. They don't care about the other Edomites. Unless they're on a certain level with them. Because when they say, you know, the Georgia guys, so when they wanted to get rid of the population to a certain degree, that also includes Edomites too. It's not just Israelites and Elamites and Ishmaelites, right? And other nations. It's also Edomites too. They, they don't care. That's why they're the wicked. They're just wicked. No balance. So Re Revelation 13 and 10 he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. <coughs> Salakia. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with a sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So this is what the saints are waiting for. They're waiting for Esau to go into captivity so we can kill them. All right? Also that we can kill them. Because in the new kingdom, we're going to need someone to build up the kingdom. And that's going to be these Edomites. Other nations are going to be in slavery too. But they're going to be on a lower level of slavery. Esau is going to get hardcore slavery. Right? That's what he did to us. And they did to us in wickedness, but we're going to do it in righteousness. So they're going to get evil in righteousness, not evil in wickedness. Because evil just goes in the word bad. Evil goes into bad times. Right? So they're going to have a bad time of righteousness. We're not going to be doing any of that, that buck breaking and all that fucking wicked shit. So, Exodus 21. I think this is the one. Oh, Exodus 21, slot here. So we got 23. <laughs> Here you go. Exodus 21 and 23. And, then, and, it, and if any mischief follow, <coughs> then thou shalt give life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot, burden for burden, wound for wound, stripe for stripe. Okay. So Esau, your what is coming to you? We're gonna repay it. You're gonna get yours. So enjoy this kingdom that you have right now, even though it's crumbling. Enjoy this crumbling kingdom. Cause once there's a time of the of New Jerusalem, that's it, man. That's it. You are gonna be on the bottom, under our feet. Isaiah 14 and 2. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord Yahweh for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Right? So we're going to rule over our oppressors. So Esau, like I said, enjoy the rest of this kingdom that you have. Yeah. Anyways, that's it on that. I'd like to close out by saying, Ka halal Yahweh ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai ba Hashem, Racha Kodash, double honors to the apostles, great millstone, and to the hopeful elect, push his word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. Abad, Babal, Kwam Yasharala, and Shalom.